Hey guys, this is my new uh, potato cannon I bought online from uh, I think it's Quarter Mile Potato Cannon. Um, came with uh, a little bit of installation required. This is a like a flint striker, supposed to be screwed through an already bored hole. Um, you mount it in there, then you twist this little cap here, which spins a wheel which then spins up against the flint, giving a nice spark to ignite um, your aquanet that goes into the um, uh, combustion chamber here. Um, I had some issues right out of the box with this. Um, first of all, the thickness of the wall of the, this part of the cannon was too thick. I couldn't for the life of me um, get the that top kind of silver nut on there threaded um, so I had to take a knife and just kind of file down um, shape down the the hole which is what's left of it here um, then I was able to get it to screw on just fine uh, just ended up making me not like this thing right at the beginning because it's been an hour ended up taking this whole thing apart trying to figure it out then realized I just had to shave down the the uh, spot here to make the wall thinner. I was able to get it screwed on right and then um, go out um, with my 14 year old son, test it out. Um, very uh, inconsistent with it sparking. Um, really cool little, little thing if you're in the 1800s but um, definitely I didn't think it was the right application for this. Um, I did like that it did create a nice little spark um, which I found out later was probably why the manufacturer chose to include this in their product. Um, I didn't like it. I spent too long tearing the thing apart, putting them back together, shaving away at it. Um, looked online for several different options, how to create a, I really looked for something I can create an arc about that far apart, put it in the middle of that. Then started getting into ignition coils, spark plugs, capacitors, um, I'm like, there's got to be an easier way to do this. I ended up taking a um, little flexible Bic lighter, um, just making this hole a little bit bigger, putting down the flexible tube down there, taping it onto here, and, had, and then just triggered it like a normal lighter, and it would make a tiny little spark, you know, like that big, and um, figured that would work. Spent time putting that thing together. Um, real confident it was going to work thing was never worked so I was upset I went back to okay I like the spark that the little sparker makes and then it got me thinking about the welding sparkers that you kind of pinch together and they get a little cup um, with a, a flint that goes back and forth over something those things can make a really big spark so I started thinking of an idea how to do that um, electronically um, so this is what I got this is the, all the same stuff that came with um, the quarter mile cannon, uh, except for I added this this whole contraption here. Um, so it's quarter inch PVC tube, the cap. Um, inside this is just wires and a switch and a nine volt battery. That's really that's all that's inside this this compartment. So. I'll kind of show you. Um, try to screw this. Uh, kind of what I've got. This is the same cap that came with it. There's a nut at the end of it, and you'll see I just screwed this uh, piece of PVC. Just kind of pushed the PVC over it, and screwed it. So this is a nice handle to unscrew the the cap. What I have here is um, parts of that welding um, sparker whatever you want to call it, uh, and a little three volt motor I bought at Fry's. Uh, this little, this part here, the black tape and the PVC is just a, I think it's a three quarter inch coupling that I just stuffed this motor in there and cut. If you recognize what that sparker is, you'll notice this is the, the flint and this little deal you can still unscrew and put new ones on so pretty easy to maintain if the flint wears out um, 
JB welded it to the little motor's drive shaft uh, and then took some uh, steel coat hanger and JB welded the flint striker onto it. Uh, so when this bugger spins around, it strikes it. Uh, hooking up to the 9 volt, little switch here. Gives a nice little spark. So what this guy could do was basically triple how much of a spark it could make, and it's a constant spark. And you can, like I said, can always push this guy down, unscrew the sparker a little bit up, however you want to do it. Um, and this will be 100% ignition every time on your potato gun. Um, I've had no problems with it. I've been very happy with it. The uh, little motor here is inside of it. Only costs like $2.99 at Fry's, and the Flint Striker is about another three bucks at Lowe's. Um, then just PVC laying around. I had the switch laying around, so I really didn't spend much in it. You'll see that nothing's really glued or permanent in place. It's just a nine bolt and some wires and I put a little some stuffing in there so that the 9 volt battery doesn't move around too much um, but you'll see I've got the um, tennis ball and and um, just unscrew it it'll ignite and one thing about this Sparker, what it does is it makes it a lot louder. It's a lot bigger ignition. It combusts just about, I think, everything in there. Um, it's not quiet like it used to be. Um, so, I'm sure my neighbors have heard it already. It's just one thing to think about. It's not really quiet. Every time, 100% detonation. <laughs> Somebody's asking if someone's all right.